Hi guys, this summer has been one of the very hottest and driest on record. And because of that, sadly, many of the trout fisheries in the UK have closed prematurely because the water temperatures are just so high. But rather than packing your stuff away and giving up fly fishing for the summer until the trout fisheries reopen later in the year, perhaps go out and give coarse fish on the fly a go. It's become more and more popular over the last few years and obviously we'll all be very aware of people fishing for pike on the fly and carp on the fly but there's lots of other species in the UK which you can get onto venues and fish quite accessibly and relatively inexpensively throughout the UK. Species such as roach and rudd, they're really free rising fish and will happily take a well presented dry fly on very fine tippet. So a lot of the stuff you've already got for some of your trout fishing would be absolutely ideal to go and target some of those coarse species. So for instance an eight and a half foot four weight or three weight and just step back your leader breaking strain a little bit. So rather than fishing maybe three and a half or four pound tippet, perhaps drop back down to maybe as low as two pound point. And some of the flies that they quite happily take, small midge patterns and things like that, absolutely tiny and really well presented on sort of a size 18 or size 20. And you can get some great sport with some of those free rising fish. There's lots of other species that you can target as well. I know people that have managed to catch bream on the fly, as well as tench, believe it or not. Not that they were particularly targeting them, but it goes to show that any of these coarse fish can be caught on a fly. Other species that people also like to catch quite often are species like chub, which really love a dry fly or a well-presented nymph. And quite often when I've been out fishing during mayfly time, I've caught chub by accident on dry fly or on a nice gold-headed uh, mayfly nymph. So they're quite happy to eat a fly too. Other species like perch, great fun on a fly. Small bait fish patterns on maybe a five weight or a six weight would be absolutely ideal. Perhaps a sink tip, fishing around features like sunken trees and things like that. Then we move on to things like carp and pike, which are the most popular ones. And a lot of the stuff you probably already use for your still waters and reservoirs would be absolutely ideal to use for carp fishing. So seven weights and eight weights ideally. Now most of the time people look predominantly to fish for them on surface patterns by pre-feeding chum and getting the fish up on the surface, chum mixers and dog biscuits, and then imitating it with a deer hair pattern. Now there's plenty of patterns available, fulling mill do quite a range of carp flies, but don't always think about just fishing for carp on the surface. There are other flies that carp will happily eat. Things like damselfly patterns, dragonfly patterns, if you see fish moving in the margins for instance, and you've got a relatively lightweight fly, you can drop that fly quite close so target those individual fish, and it's amazing how many times if you get the fly somewhere close to it, those carp will react and suck in that fly. And on a fly rod, a carp is a great scrap. Now when it comes to pike, there's lots of pike stuff on the market. This is a little bit more specialist than some being able to use some of your trout stuff and moving that across the course side of things. This is where we tend to use a minimum sort of a nine weight rod up to a 10, some people even to an 11, because some of the flies, as you can see here, they're not particularly aerodynamic and you just need that heavier fly line to turn over those bigger flies. Now, it's not to say that you can't land a very big pike on a, on a lighter rod, you can do, but ordinarily to try and catch a big pike, you're using a big fly and those lighter rods just aren't strong enough or man enough to turn over those big patterns because they're not particularly aerodynamic. So there's lots of stuff you've already got in your kit bags and in your fly boxes that would be perfectly usable for going and targeting some coarse fish. Now there's loads of easily accessible fisheries around the country. Just simply log on to Google, have a, a look through and try and find your nearest fishery to you. As well as that, there's loads of different clubs and canals and rivers that are available for you to join for very little money. So while the trout fishing in the middle of the summer is at its worst and a lot of our fisheries are closed, perhaps dig out some of your fly fishing stuff make a few changes, get a couple of little bits and pieces, and go out and try and challenge yourself to catching some coarse fish on the fly. It's a really good, fun part of our uh, sport, and it's a little bit of something different, and it's a big challenge, and it's amazing how many different species you can catch on a fly. So dust off your stuff, get out there, make the most of the nice weather, and try and target something different.